Hi guys, welcome to this ISO builder. We're on i3 now, and um, I've just built another Ariser ISO. So Ariser, that's one. Then we go and download it from Ariser.eu, and it's one of the other projects, right? There are so many ways to install Arch Linux, and that's what we. Oh, that's what we try to teach you. That's Linux, and we happen to be on Arch. And I still think we have this um, in here that we have 33 ISOs, right? It's all Arch Linux then. There's one ISO that's called Carly, customized Arch Linux ISO. There's the Riser project, there is no Calamars, and we trust. Pico. Pico makes scripts and I add the scripts to Arch Linux. That's it. So this is a more, most pure thing you can have, right? It's an Arch Linux ISO with scripts. And here's ALCI with Calamaris again. And of course we teach you how to install Arch from archlinux.org. There is one with which is the Archway installation and there is also an Arch Linux official Arch install script. So, pretty much similar than to the one from Pico, probably, right? So, there are 44 ways to install Arch. Wow. So, a riser. It's just, I've just built one and it's online. And there's something I need to tell you guys. Pac-Man is our package manager. It needs to be initialized. Arch Linux initializes. Oh, I think I've done done the wrong one uh, I need to get the ISO I think we have to wait till the ISO is here so I'll pause the video a little bit just pushed it on the other computer and it's still processing right so what the most important message is Pacman initializes it takes time right so wait for the process to finish the service to finish and then you can install a riser then you can install the Arch Linux ISO with the Pico scripts. But for now, I'll just put it on, on pause here till the line comes with the ISO. So once it's arrived on source, source, source forge, what difficult word, you can download it and then let's have some fun. So the main message for this video is guys, wait for Pac-Man to actually finish the in its service. So choose a disk file in Eric in the downloads. I find Arch Linux is called, right? It is the default script of Arch. Nothing changed, nothing altered. The logo is there, it's just Arch. But we use a script. You use your own GitHub. That's what's explained on ariser.eu. So this is all as usual, business as usual, as they say, right? It's pure Arch. So you boot up either this was BIOS or UFI, which is all black. And it, voila, you choose the three lines there with speech or without. And what we have is two GitHubs, actually just one, right? Pico, just one. But the thing is, so while I'm talking, right? Pac-Man is initializing itself. And that's why you don't run into issues, right? If you wait long enough, <laughs> you don't have issues. Oh my God, right? Oh my God, the M is here now, the A here, and then that's there and that's there. Wow. This, this, well, not enable Eric, status you need to have, right? So go back, Control C. Don't tell me if to, okay. So status, meanwhile, everything will be okay, right? Just had enough time to finish. But that's the thing, Let wait and, and until it really is finished, voila. This is what you need to get, all these lines, GPG, GPG. Then you know you're good to go. So that's the thing, that's the message, wait for it to initialize. Now, the rest is the same as all the other videos. We have a CD. Well, first, right, 
stress azerty keys load keys pe lm1 hey hey right i can see the two 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 this one ls and there are two folders there ls and ls dev dev stands for development so if pico pushes out code i test the code i test the code, and then say okay this is not working this isn't working right you communicate and ls is code that should work has been tested and then is um, working so the choice is normally alice that you type and then everything goes automatically let us install arch i've wait i've put two extra lines there wait long enough so that pacman init service is finished check with system ctl status pacman init i've shown you that now right and then there is continuity an iso is a frozen moment in time i give you now the opportunity to get in code so if we push new code to the github this is pulling it so yes or no yes i want to have the very last code which is exactly the same now right already up to date it says but if this iso is six months old or six years old it's gonna push and it's gonna pull the code in and it goes its merry way but it's the latest code and then we have this choice here do you want to continue and boot and then uh, root and then home we say yes sure go ahead and uh, fine and it does it all automatically and that's the fun of this uh, this pico scripts once you set everything up you make your own github these are my githubs alice github make your own github put that on the eraser and you get yourself an arch Linux iso with your choices because i choose to have grub i choose to have xfce i choose to have lightm but you might want to change to systemd and to uh, sdm and to plasma in the end arch Linux is all about choices well linux in general is always choosing so you decided you change all this configuration it's all explained on ariser.eu i don't know 20 30 articles have a look at them and then this thing becomes automated and that's one of the selling points right is you burn your own iso and you decide i want to have bspwm with sdm and systemd fine it's just some variables you tick and you change um, your, your github pull it run it and like this it's running and it's just installing what you typed right like for example i've chosen neofetch i think to be installed by default so anything from arch Linux, any from aor can be installed there's no in here there's nothing referring to arch Linux at all it's arch and the things that are not on arch Linux, well they're on aor here you see paru bin being built and a binary is not really building so it's fast but Paru is there as well, and Paru is there, and, and, and all these guys, Ink, C, Sublime Text, there they go. My decision is to have it on the machine. You decide otherwise, and you make your own GitHub, and push it to pull it inside a riser, which is all uh, possible, it's all explained, and you create your own personal riser, ISO, with Plasma. Well, with the choice of Plasma, there's no Plasma on it, right? It's pure Arch. Look at the time, two minutes and 40 seconds. It took two minutes and 40 seconds to install XFCE Pure Arch. I think that's fast. So try it out. The latest and newest is online. Boot existing OS. If you don't change anything, you'll get this. Light the M, you log in. And you get the default xfc and then it's up to you to get some scripts in and 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 decide if you want to have we have to get nemesis on a riser that's something i've put on there because i don't like to do things all uh again and again and have to type <sighs> just say i'm a lazy guy i don't know but i have now the data i nemesis right mouse click open terminal here and all i do is go for breakfast for example 
and let this guy work. These are my current choices. And he knows where he is. He knows he's on, on the riser and he will do things on a riser differently than if I would run it on Endeavor OS or would run it on Garuda or would run it on Manjaro. He knows where it is. Get rid of this, get rid of that on Manjaro. Decide to change things on Garuda and stuff like that. Make your own scripts. So you have the Lego blocks that you want, right? Here, where do I do that? Here I remove some stuff because I don't need NVIDIA drivers, because I don't need AMD drivers, because I etc. Stuff I don't want on my machines, but also packages that I do want on my machine. So it's so, so simple and it's, it's so efficient, right? This thing is working for me. Otherwise I had to type all this. So just an idea. GitHub.com, Eric Dubois, Arclex Nemesis. That's where you can find all of this. So there you go, another Ariser video. Um, maybe it's, um, I don't know, you decide when you're ready for it. It's more pure arch. It's um, a black screen and all that. You have to make your own GitHubs if you want to have Plasma or not, right? You can on the fly, I've made videos about that, on the fly, you go in there in the slash Alice folder, go to the right file, configuration file, edit things, save things, run it, right? And you will have Plasma as well. Just get rid of XFC, put Plasma in there, voila. Mate, Mate desktop, right? And Cinnamon, etc., etc. Well, it's just a word, a few letters, and Arch Linux knows what to do. It'll just throw the Mate desktop on your machine. All right, I'm not going to wait for all these things to, to install. GIMP is now installing, right? So enjoy a riser. The latest ISO is on there. And let it see some videos and let it um, simmer. How do you say? Let it. Uh, the advantages there are, groups, in my eyes, a lot of advantages of doing it this way. But hey, it's up to you. This is, by the way, the way to have system D, right? Pico made the choice, do you want Grub or System D? So if, if that's your thing, this is the ISO. And it's still large. And I can make this one Arco Linux, right? And just need to get the packages in, and it becomes an Arco Linux. So the longer I've been on this project, let me end with the last phrase, then you know it's all Arch Linux. Get packages in, throw packages out, and I can make any system based on Arch, an Arch system. All right, have fun.